Now, many of you are, are having some pretty big files. And again, if, uh, you know, if the lab is open and you are, oh yeah, can you not print, please? Uh, if the lab is open and uh, there's machines available, you can, you can render out on multiple machines. And what I want you to do, in order to do that, to make it really successful, instead of doing uh, quick time clips and just doing one quick time and another quick time, you can render these out as individual frames or stills. Okay, so when you go to the render settings, what you want to do is, for your output, make sure, just like normal, you, you choose all frames. And then uh, for save, what you want to do is save them as JPEGs instead. Okay, So instead of when we set it up like for QuickTime Movie uh, and those format options, just make sure that you choose JPEG. And then what's important here is that the name, whatever you name it, like in this case I named it Hand, uh, it's going to have this sort of 000 dot the extension. We want to make sure that when you render it out, it's going to render, it's going to label each frame with a corresponding number. Because what we're going to produce is called an image sequence, or a sequence of images from the beginning of your render to the end of the render. Okay? And so um, when we render this out, uh, then we're going to be able to get, uh, uh, you know, all, a whole sequence of those different stills. So any of the extra effects that you apply to it, make sure that's all checked off render it out, and then you should be able to, f to locate a file. Hold on here, where are we? Now it's going to be hard for me to find the file, I bet. Go in here. Let's see, what do we call that thing? Here we go. Okay, so you can see what's happened here. It's, it's late, rendered out 90 frames from 0 to 90. And each frame is an individual JPEG, okay? And because they're in order from 0, 0 all the way to, um, to 90, we can open this up in After Effects as an image sequence, okay? And so I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So what you can do when you render then is if you have several machines rendering, run, uh, rendering the same project, um, just start your, you know, start your render settings from, say, frame 0 to frame 50, and the next machine from frame 50, 51 to frame 100, and the next machine from 101 to 150. So you get those sort of sequences. And then what you do is you compile all those files and put them in the same folder, okay? Uh, so that you just have the entire sequence all as one, all right? And then when you go into After Effects, you can preview this out. When you go into After Effects, you can do File, Import, and File. And then open up your, locate your, um, your folder that has all of your, your images in there. And if you choose the first one, which is zero right here, it's automatically going to ask you if this is a JPEG sequence. Okay? If, as long as that's checked and you click open, it will open up all of those frames as an image sequence, which is essentially in, in movie format. So you can just simply drag this down to a composition and then play it out and you can see that it's taken all those JPEGs and animated it into a movie. Okay, and so we can use this the same way that we use the QuickTime footage in our project, but it'll allow you to, you know, stop your render and start your render again. Uh, and this is another good point too. Let's say you're rendering out something and it's finishing, let's say, frame 83 and you have to shut the machine down, right? You can stop it at 83, okay, it'll save that last project file. And then you can just resume it at frame 84 to whatever you want to render again. As long as you're exporting it out as these JPEG stills, uh, then you can always, again, put them in a folder in order and sequence and import it into After Effects as an image sequence. Okay? So that's going to save you, you know, some time uh, in terms of rendering, uh, in terms of compositing those things together. Okay? The other thing I wanted to talk about is the final thing that we're going to be doing in here is putting all of our projects together into a seamless reel. And sometimes that can get just a little bit messy when you're starting to deal with all these layers and, and projects and sequences that are coming together. So what I like to do is let's just open up a recent project. Let's see. Okay, so this was my name logo project that I made. And you can see there's multiple layers in here. Uh, what I'd like to do with this then is to sort of com uh, 
flatten the layers. You know, in Photoshop, you can flatten all your layers, so it's one sort of image that you can work with. It's just going to be easier when you start to bring these things together. So what you can do is, what I like to do anyway, is make sure you save the file just how it is, because you want to always have the opportunity to go back and, and uh, uh, manipulate any of these layers. So if you just do Command-N, uh, you can create a new composition, make sure it's the same size, the comp size that you're working with, and also the same um, duration of time, which it is right here. And what I like to do then is just grab all of these layers. You can just shift-click all the layers so they're all selected. You can copy them then, and then go to the new composition, paste them all in. And then what you can do is, now that they're all selected, you can simply go up to Layer and do Pre-Compose. And what this is going to do is, it'll ask you if you want to uh, you know, move all the attributes to new composition, click OK. And it's just going to flatten everything down into one uh, final layer. Okay? So when you're putting your reel together, you know, all of those things, uh, the, the name logo, your, um, your animated objects that you rotate around in your final project, I would suggest just making new compositions for each one of those, pre-composing them all down, and then editing them together with some text, with some transitional fades, and that will make it much easier to do your final edits and renders. Okay? Any questions about any of that? Just a quick tutorial today, and then I want to come around and see how your projects are coming along.